Hello United Backyard Cutters and other sword enthusiasts. I'm going to do another sword review today. This one's for this beautiful 14th century knightly sword from the craftsman at Dark Sword Armory. The reason I say craftsman at Dark Sword Armory is because these swords are actually handcrafted, hand forged right here in Canada at Dark Sword Armory. Uh, they're not, um, you know, they're not commissioned out by some secondary sister forge over in Asia, China somewhere. These are handmade, handcrafted swords. And they are just stunning. This particular sword is an Italian design from the 14th century. Um, I believe it was called the Dagas style. Uh, it would be classified as a, as a arming sword or a knightly or knight sword. This particular design has this very very broad base here tapering all the way down. Has a nice broad and deep fuller down the middle. Um, I think this design being most of the weight back here and having a good solid pommel really makes this quite well balanced for a one-handed sword. Uh, this particular sword comes with the sheath. This one has the belt upgrade. And they even send you a card that describes how they hand forge their swords in much the same way as was done in medieval times. And it also gives you a description of how to tie this particular style of belt. All genuine leather. This would go around you and fasten up, I'll show you later, but anyway. Uh, I really like the craftsmanship of the, of the design of the belt and the sheath and the way it's incorporated in. Uh, it's a little bit more for the belt upgrade and I ordered this sword sharpened as opposed to being a blunt sword that you could use uh, as stage and reenactment and stuff. Um, I like a sword that uh, can cleave things in half if I want it to. Um, about the sharpness of the sword, it is medieval sword sharp. As opposed to, say, a katana blade that is sharp enough to shave with, this could do a lot of damage, take off an arm, take off a head, uh, but it doesn't have that razor edge. That, uh, that you would expect from, say, a, a, you know, katana or other swords of that genre. This here, uh, they, they create the sharpness of the blade by making a secondary bevel on the, on the edge. Um, I would like to see a little bit more angle on the bevel just to give it a little bit sharper edge, but it is effectively sharp. Um, you're not going to slice your hand open doing this, but if you were to whack it against something, it's going to cut it. It's going to slice in. Um, that's why I say it's medieval sharp. <laughs> uh, if you were carrying this in the Crusades <laughs> and were gone for 10 years, you know, you'd be using a, a, a chunk of rock or something to uh, keep your sword somewhat sharp in the field. And uh, it wouldn't have a nice, even, sharp edge like this. It would be rough and scraped up and chips and dings out of it from battle and you know but as I say it's effectively sharp uh, it's a little bit more for sharpening there as well the base model of this sword itself with the sheath is around the $300 mark which is actually a really really good price one for being a sword that is authentically handmade um, and hand forged and two, a sword of this quality. Um, I don't have a real lot of experience with medieval swords. I have a few entry level handways. I have another dark sword, uh, armory, black knight sword that I bought second hand, uh, and a few others. But uh, nothing compares to this. I've never handled, say, uh, you know, tinker sword or something like that. Um, so I can only go by what I have seen in entry level stuff which runs anywhere from 150 to 200 250 dollar mark this one being 300 dollar mark is is uh, head and shoulders above 
anything that I've handled so far as far as quality and workmanship go um, like I said it's very well balanced I put the point of balance at somewhere about four and a quarter inches uh, that's accountable to this uh, very wide based blade shape that brings it back and a good solid pommel um, the pommel is peened on so you're not going to be able to disassemble this sword um, it has a great leather grip uh, wrap over cord and stitched uh, and I'll show you some close-up pictures of that beautiful matching leather sheath all very well stitched together now this pommel has some Latin engraving on it now I don't speak Latin and I'm not going to bother translating this uh, but according to the Dark Sword Armory site about this sword the engraving uh, it's a quote that goes around both sides of the pommel and over the top translates roughly to something about showing compassion and, and uh, honor to your enemies as well as all living things and uh, good words to live by especially if you were you were a swordsman in the 14th century now I'm not an expert on medieval swords uh, the little bit of research I have done however has shown that this design this 14th century Italian Dagas design uh, is quite historically accurate because all the swords I've seen by different manufacturers of this style all have this basic design this very broad tapered blade slightly curved guard uh, round pommel so I'd say it's pretty historically accurate especially considering that these swords from Dark Sword Armory are hand forged much the same way that swords were hand forged back in those days uh, this is a beautiful piece this is just wonderful to have I'm gonna take it out and uh, play with it a little bit see how it handles and see how it feels and then I'll give you some final thoughts on it Well, as you can see by my somewhat limited skills as a swordsman, uh, this thing handles quite nicely. Has uh, no problem at all against the dreaded pumpkin, even a half frozen pumpkin. If you go over to the Dark Sword Armory website, here's the uh, thing here. If you go over to the Dark Sword Armory website, and uh, check it out they've just revamped it and fixed it up it looks really nice um, and they added a new feature which is uh, you can sign up for their monthly newsletter you get via email and apparently um, I guess they'll have you know typical stuff of the newsletter news about the company news about new uh, designs new swords perhaps and new items they have for sale uh, maybe new site features but they say they'll also be occasionally perhaps doing some draws or giveaways uh, via the newsletter so it might be worth your while to head over to Dark Sword Armory site there and sign up for that newsletter I did right away